Game development in general is a fairly collaborative thing. Like, even just to get a game off the ground, you have to bring programmers and artists and musicians and marketers and all sorts of people together. And I think Victoria really builds on the spirit of that. None of the companies in town are really in competition with each other. They all work together to just build the industry and make it more vibrant. Eric Jordan is an extremely vocal uh, proponent for the games industry in town here, and he's done a lot to bring the community together. Uh, I wanted to create the scholarship at UVic because I'd really wish something like that existed when I'd gone to UVic. Uh, gosh, I wish something like that had existed when I was like a high school student. But it's very, very hard to get high school students interested in just tech. So video games are kind of a sizzle that can get a high school student interested in something that can then lead to this much broader career with all of these varied tech industries that are in BC. My involvement with Ubic Game Dev is a huge reason where I am where I am. We recently organized a game jam in Fort Victoria here, and basically what you were trying to do was create a game with a team over the course of 48 hours. It was a lot of work to put it on, but it's kind of one way that I can give back to the community that's already given me so much. In my last semester, I received the Tectoria Award for Game Developers, and it's awarded to somebody that's really active in the local community. The award was completely invaluable in actually helping me pay for tuition for the final semester. Um, but beyond finances, the award really meant just recognition in the industry that I've worked so hard to get into. And it's such a fantastic community. Everyone in it is so helpful that being recognized by them was just a complete confidence booster. I don't think I could have started the company without it. When I was younger, I always wanted to work in games, and I was always kind of told that was a sort of pipe dream. It's one of those things that, you know, oh, you'll grow out of and you'll go work in a you know, real job, I guess. Having these companies actually invest in my education and say, you know, hey, gaming is a viable career path, it's huge in Victoria, you can do it, was, yeah, I, I'm speechless for it. <laughs>